what's up? Uh, Faizan here from Research Beast. Um, on this channel, I share different tips and tricks for researchers, different motivational talks, and I also talk to experts about the research methods or anything related to research. So if you are interested in content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, this channel is all about um, having different videos and content for researchers, specifically for academic researchers who are studying for PhD or masters or you know anything to do with academic research. So uh, on this channel, I do a lot of videos um, about uh, research methods, research related issues, um, interviewing different editors or established researchers or talk about different techniques. So if you think you are interested in something like this, please make sure to um, hit the subscribe button below. On this channel, I usually talk a lot about working effectively and efficiently. Um, I've done several videos um, with tips and tricks. I will actually anchor one video um, on the top. You probably will see a prompt I did recently on how to work effectively with Google Scholar. So uh, definitely check out that video. In today's video, we'll talk about um, how do you format your paper. And the reason why I talk about this is because this is something that takes a lot of time for authors. You write a paper, uh, but you do not know how to format it, or it takes a long time to format it because people go manually formatting their papers. But most importantly, once you submit your paper to a journal, and if it's not properly formatted, then uh, either the journals are going to send it back to you to reformat it and then send it again or your paper may even get rejected because uh, for many many journals the acceptance rate is very low so a small mistake like this can also put you in a uh, weird spot so it's very important to format your paper before you submit it to a journal or for your class assignments or whatever now the problem is um, many people um, they say that well you know, these days many journals require you to format your paper as um, you want and then just submit it. For instance, elsewhere have this one thing called uh, your paper, your way. So you can format your paper however you want. Um, this is an argument that we um, often hear from many young researchers. Um, however, yes, th that that argument is completely true. It is there on the website. What, what it means is that you have to pick up a format a format that is widely used and accepted and then use that format for your paper. Obviously many people do um, know and they do use APA formatting for their papers and references and everything uh, but if you do it manually it's going to take a long long time. So what I'll do is in, in today's video um, I'll show you an easier way to format your paper um, it's based on templates and everything so I'm going to move to my computer and show you step by step on how you can definitely uh, format your paper or how you can give a clean look to your paper when you submit it. Now remember this can be applied to your um, papers, research papers that you submit or your assignments and whatnot. Now obviously you can also use it for your thesis and dissertations but because it's a very long document and if you are using Microsoft Word um, then this method may not be a very viable method for you because of the length of the document. However, if you are doing a research paper or if you are doing um, an assignment um, that you need to submit to your class, then you can definitely use this method that I'm going to show you. Uh, anything that I'll use in this video, the, the template that I'm going to use in this video, I'll also link it into the description of this video so that if you want to download it and use it for your own formatting, you are more than welcome to do that. Uh, before we get into the computer screen, I once again want to remind you to please uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps me. It helps me a lot in supporting my channel because um, with a full-time job and a family and everything, doing these videos sometimes can be really overwhelming. So a little support from your end in terms of subscribing to the channel, liking the video, or comments in the comment section below can help a lot since the YouTube algorithm looks at all those things. So um, yeah, while we are talking about comments, why don't you um, tell me in the comments um, what are your major issues with the formatting? So whenever you are formatting your papers or your dissertations or thesis or your assignments, what is some of the major issues that you face? And I'll look into those comments. I'll try to answer your comments below. 
Uh, I normally do answer all the comments. I'll try to do that. But if I cannot answer your questions, I, I'll try to find somebody who can answer your questions, the problems that you face when it comes to formatting. So with that said, uh, I'm not going to talk anymore. I'll move to my computer screen and then we are going to talk about how do you format your paper pretty quick and an easy Save way. Your time by so working good. with templates. So templates are things that are predefined in terms of formatting and stuff. Uh, since most of the audience for my channel are researchers, I'm going to show you something. Most of these publishers have templates for the documents that they uh, want you to submit using that format. So, for instance, if I go to this website, Taylors and Francis, um, you can see that here's this website, author services, templates and folders and stuff like this. Um, I just go to Word 2016, click on template. It's a zip file. I already downloaded it, which is this one. You unzip it, and this is the template. So one way of working it with it is you directly double click on the template. It's already set here. So you just start typing in it, right? Of course, you have to change all this right up in it, but you can use the same formatting for your, for your, for your paper. However, there's an easier way to deal with it, okay? So uh, in order to do that, we have to change the settings a little bit. Word. Right now here, you see home insert, draw design, layout, stuff like this. You do not see anything called um, developer. Uh, it's easy to add that. All we have to do is go to file. We go all the way down to options. These are the options. So I, we have to come here to customize ribbon. After customize ribbon, I'll come here to developer and I have to click on developer. Just make sure that um, you check this checkbox and OK it. So as soon as you do it, you will see here it shows developer. OK, so this is um, how you have to do it. Now, uh, in order for me to make sure that I'm using the template, once I click on developer, I'll see here document templates. So I click on this one go to attach and I have to attach this template that I have saved on desktop. So Taylor and Francis attach, uh, right. I go to manuscript. Um, this is how the manuscript looks like. So let's say if I have to um, use something of, um, uh, use Taylor's and Francis template, I again have to go here, attach the template that was on the desktop go to desktop, attach this, okay it. <clears throat> All right, so now as soon as I do it, I'll see that near developer, I have another tab, which is add-ins, okay? So um, just select your title, this is your title. You select this and all the way click on article title, okay? Uh, I guess for this one, I've already done it, but okay, so let's just show you something. Okay, so just imagine this is how your article looks like. I go to add in, click on it. All right, and then let's say this abstract, I double click on abstract. This should be your heading number one. So I do this, I select all the abstract and then click on abstract. So it's going to format it as an abstract. These are my keywords. So again, I select this, click on keywords. Introduction should again be your heading number one. Uh, all right, so now this one is your paragraph number one, right? So since it's paragraph number one, I have to go here to paragraph, okay? And um, after this, each of the other ones are new paragraphs. So I'm going to select all of these and click on new paragraph. So I'll see that it's going to do all the formatting. Again, literature review is your heading number one. Within literature review, this is a subheading, which would be your heading number two. So I click on heading number two and you see that the formatting is automatically changing by itself. Again, this one is your new paragraph, uh, your paragraph. Uh, this is your table number one. So I select this and I click on table title. So it is going to keep it as it is. So this is another way how you can save your time on formatting.